Hi, I'm Lisa from Cultured Expressions here with another quick tip. This is a way to make a very simple sewing kit that you can travel with for your next sojourn. What you do is take an empty dental, dental floss container and just pop out the top like that. You're going to need the top because this is actually going to serve as your, your cutter for your thread. So this way you don't have to have to carry scissors. Then you have a nice little space here and you can just fill it with things that you may or may not need. Some basic things like safety pins. Um, these buttons and buttons like this usually come in those sewing kits and I've never used a white button in my life But you can kind of tailor this kit to what you like to use whether it's a, a black button or a shank or however um, That's it's nice that you can customize it, but just as a reminder you can put buttons in there Put that one in you might want to do some pre-threaded needles Are you allowed to take that on the plane? Camille, that's a good question. You are, you. It seems like you are allowed to take needles on the plane. I've done some hand work on the plane with, with you know, sewing needles, no scissors, but um, it really depends on the TSA agent that you get. Sometimes they can be really tough and kind of confiscated, so you wouldn't want to put anything in here that you don't want to lose. The other alternative is to just pack this and put it in your check luggage, so when you get to your destination, at least you still have, you know, your kit that you can use in emergencies. So it's normally people do, you know, are able to to kind of sew on the plane with just the needles and, and pins, things like that. I have some pins here that I actually put through to, say, to keep them together. I put them through a piece of um, fusible tape, which is also a lifesaver when you're traveling. And almost every hotel room has an iron, so you can always just kind of do a quick hem or fix it like that. So I cut off a, a little length of the fusible tape, folded it up, and just stuck the pins in it just to kind of keep them all in one place. And then for the thread, Normally, you're going to have a, a smaller case like this, and a, um, a whole spool is not going to fit. So I just filled some bobbins, and th that can be your thread. Okay, and again, tailor the bobbin colors to, to colors that you wear. You don't really have to have purple and pink threads if that's not what you wear. So this is a nice way to kind of customize what you need. And then normally, I wear a lot, use a lot of black thread. So that one I'm going to get ready by putting it just through the little runner like that pop it in place, and then you're ready to sew. You can just pull it out, cut it off, and you've got your whole little kit right there. This is one last little piece I forgot to show you, just an emergency embellishment, because you never know when you're going to want to decorate something on the road. So we can also put that in there. And you're all set. Quick, handy, safe, ready to go.